All right, I'm going to show you a tricky back-to-back -back bend, and we're not even going to use a tape measure for this. But you have to have a conduit bender that has the star point, and that's in one of my previous videos. And the star point, it should say right on there, back of bend. So what you need is a bender that has that mark, a level, and a Sharpie marker. Okay, we're going to pretend that the blue tape is where my conduit is going to come out. The first bend is going to bend 90 degrees up along this wall. And then when I get up to the top of this, I'm going to make another 90 degree bend and that pipe is going to run right along the top of this bench. So here's my half inch conduit from the blue tape and you can see where the end of this pipe is hitting the wall. I'm going to make a mark right where the wall is. Now I'm going to do what they call girdle the mark. I'm going to try my best to keep this straight and make that mark all the way around the pipe. So that is where my first bend needs to be. That needs to be where the back of the bend goes up along this board. I'm going to place the star point on that first mark. Okay, I'm placing level on the pipe because I want to see that bubble in the middle and that'll tell me I have a good 90 degree bend. Now you can see where I am still coming out of my, uh, my mark on the floor is, is my tape. I'm coming out and that first bend, the back of that bend is running right up alongside this board. And my next challenge is to make another 90 degree bend to run along the bottom of this shelf. So now what I'm gonna do is place another mark right on the bottom there where the shelf is flush with the pipe because that's where the back of the next bend needs to be, right along the bottom here. So again, I'm not using a tape measure, I'm using my star point to mark the back of the bend. Okay, I have to make sure that the handle of the bender is lined up with the first bend. And then I'm going to pull the handle towards me to make this bend the back-to-back -back bend with the other bend. You can see now I made both my back-to-back my -back bends. The first bend does run right up along this board, and the second bend runs right along the bottom of the shelf. That's it.